Have you ever opened up Audacity, hit record, and instead of seeing that beautiful waveform, you get slapped with a message saying error code 9999, unanticipated host error? It's one of those moments where your creative flow just crashes. You're ready to record, but your software simply refuses to cooperate. Don't worry, this error looks scarier than it actually is. In fact, it usually means Audacity just can't connect to your microphone properly. The good news is, there are a handful of simple fixes that almost always solve it. By the end of this, you'll know exactly what to do the next time that dreaded error pops up, whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Let's start with the easiest step first. Ask yourself, is your microphone even being recognized by Windows? It sounds obvious, but sometimes a loose USB connection or a cable that isn't fully plugged in can trigger this error. Right-click the little speaker icon in your taskbar and choose Sound Settings. Under the Input section, you should see your microphone listed. If it isn't there, that's your problem right away. Plug it in again, switch USB ports if needed, or restart your computer so Windows can refresh the device list. Now, if your mic is showing up, but Audacity still refuses to record, the next place to check is microphone permissions. Starting with Windows 10, Microsoft added stricter privacy controls, and a lot of people don't realize that apps can be blocked from using the microphone altogether. Here's how to check. Open your start menu, type microphone privacy settings, and click on it. Make sure microphone access is turned on globally, and then scroll down to see individual apps. Look for Audacity in that list and make sure it's switched on. If it isn't, Audacity simply won't hear anything no matter what you do inside the program. All right, let's say permissions look fine. What's next? Well, sometimes the problem isn't Audacity at all, but another app hogging your microphone. Only one application can use the device at a time, so if Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or even Discord is open in the background, Audacity can't grab the mic. The solution here is simple. Close out of those apps, relaunch Audacity, and try again. Still seeing the error? Then it's time to look at your audio drivers. Outdated or corrupted drivers are another common culprit. To update them, right-click your Start menu, choose Device Manager, then expand the section called Sound, Video, and Game Controllers. Right-click your audio device, select Update Driver, and let Windows search for the latest version. Sometimes this quick update is enough to clear the error completely. And finally, if none of the above does the trick, there's always the nuclear option. Reset Audacity to its defaults. It is simple, and I have already made a quick tutorial about it, so you can watch it here. So, why does this error even exist in the first place? It really comes down to how Windows handles audio devices. Your microphone is considered a host, and if Audacity can't get proper access, whether because of permissions, driver issues, or another program blocking it, you see that unanticipated host error message. In other words, it's not that Audacity is broken, it's just being locked out of the device it needs. Now you know exactly where to look. Start with the basics. Check connections, confirm Windows recognizes your mic, and make sure permissions are on. Then, move on to closing other apps, updating drivers, or reinstalling Audacity if needed. Each step removes one possible roadblock until you finally hit the solution. The next time error 99999 pops up, you won't panic. You'll know exactly what's going on, and more importantly, how to fix it. With these tricks, you'll be back to recording your music, your podcast, or whatever project you've got in mind without losing your creative momentum.